What? It's confirmed! <laughs> All of it! iPhone 14, let's go! Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to Front Page Tech, FPT. Of course, show the game show that is tech news, one geek that is me, to another that is you. Hey, a question for you. Why do I get Amber Alert notifications on my phone? Like, I get it. There's a missing kid. That's very sad. But also, what do you want me to do about it? Throw on a cape and go get him? Hmm? Uh, so, first up for the day, story numero uno. Uh, I don't know if you saw, but we had, like, a major Pixel Watch leak. Actually, two of them. A couple leaks. First of all, how about the name Pixel Watch? There's actually been some speculation about the naming. They, uh, is it going to be called Pixel Watch? Is it going to be called something else? I mean, on this show, when we leaked the watch over a year ago, we told you the name was Pixel Watch. In December, we even showed you official marketing material with the with the name Pixel Watch on it. But apparently, some outlets, they weren't sure. They're like, is it actually called Pixel Watch or not that? Well, now we have an official trademark. Google filed for that name, Pixel Watch. So, case closed on that one. But also... <sighs> bruh. Someone left a prototype Pixel Watch in a restaurant. Like, for real. They just left it there. And someone found it, and took pictures of it, and here we are. Huh, that sure sounds familiar. Remember when this exact same thing happened with the iPhone 4 back in the day? Actually, you probably don't. Half of you were still shitting your own pants back then. But back in 2010, someone did leave an iPhone 4 prototype in a bar. It was concealed in a case to make it look like an iPhone 3GS, but then it totally wasn't. They were just trying to disguise it, but it didn't work. There was a ton of drama around that back in the day. If you remember, you remember. I'm not going to go into that in today's episode. And now it's 2022, then we got a similar thing, except less iPhone and more Pixel Watch. Okay, I have so many questions. Like, number one, how? Hmm? Come on. Google. Really? You really expect us to believe that by some accident, someone left a definitely not even disguised Pixel Watch at a restaurant. A watch! It's not even a phone that you set down a lot. You're supposed to be wearing a watch, but by some sheer accident, Someone took their watch off and left it there. A prototype unreleased watch. They took it off at a restaurant and left it there. And then number two, someone found it and knew what it was. A Google Pixel watch? Bro, no. There's like tens of people, maybe, that even know what that thing is supposed to be. And then number three, the person that happened to find it and definitely know what it was, they thought to send images to Android Central? Of all places, really? Are we for real right now? Okay, hang on. Just so we understand each other, uh, you and I, we all agree, right? We all agree that this is a setup? This absolutely is just a thing that Google did on purpose to generate hype around this thing, which is fair because I, look at it. It looks amazing. When we first leaked this and showed you renders, I said it was probably the best looking smartwatch ever. And the in-person images make it look even better. I mean, uh, it. hang on, it's pretty chonk. It's pretty chonk, but uh, it is very pretty because everybody chonk can be pretty. So Pixel Watch totally confirmed, confirmed all the way at this point, uh, but definitely, definitely not by accident. Oh, you know what else is an, an accident? Today's sponsor. The following is not financial advice, but it is. Invest your money, but not in the stock market. The stock market is too volatile and spoopy right now, but art is not. That's why today's episode is sponsored by Masterworks.io. Masterworks gives everyone, not just high rollers, the chance to invest in famous Picasso, Monet, and Banksy paintings. But why art though? Well, art has outpaced the S&P 500 from 1995 to 2021 and has almost no correlation with stocks. Is it legit? Yes, Masterworks is the first company to offer paintings backed up with the same Securities and Exchange Commission as public offerings. But is anyone doing it? Yes, again. Over 300,000 investors have already signed up. In fact, there's so much buzz surrounding Masterworks right now that there's kind of a wait list, but you can skip it. All you have to do is go to masterworks.art slash FPT and get started today. And of course, a huge thanks to Masterworks for sponsoring this episode of there. Alrighty, tidy. Welcome back. Uh, last up for the day, story numero lasto. Mark German, Marcus Germantis, has confirmed a lot 
of iPhone 14 stuff. We've heard most of, if not all of these things already, but Mark Gurman is now saying the things. So, you know, basically confirmed, but hopefully not confirmed in the same way he confirmed that flat Apple watch last year. Any whore. So the Bloomberg Technology Channel put out a video with Gurman in it. Not sure how or when they decide to post videos like this. It only has like 30,000 views. So go watch it. And for some reason, I'm not seeing a lot of people talking about this. Like he's, did you, you didn't see it? You didn't see the video? He has now gone from saying that the iPhone 14 will have a complete redesign. Those were his words. To now saying that the design will follow Apple's recent pattern and quote, reuse the same general look. Lining up with what we've seen in recent CADs, German says to expect a larger camera bump and on the Pro models, a pill-shaped cutout for Face ID and a hole-shaped cutout for the front-facing camera. He reiterates that we can expect the notch to still be there on those regular iPhone 14 Pro models, though. The Bloomberg video also mentions that there is no mini iPhone this year, and instead, Apple will give a 6.1-inch and a 6.7-inch model for both Pro and non-Pro devices. German says that the Pro models will ship with an A16 chip, but the regular models will still have an A15 chip inside, which absolutely sucks by the way i mean even the iphone se has the latest chip in it why ship this year's phone with last year's chip and, and so help me god if the price is not lower it's not gonna matter all that much the people buying those phones don't even know what chip is in there half the time anyway but i will and i will know all right, I'll see you and I'll know you're a tiny little baby man with a little baby phone. All right, back to the Bloomberg video. Uh, the Pro models, he says, will get an upgraded 48 megapixel wide angle lens, but the regular models will stick with a 12 megapixel lens. So, you know, that's cool. Like I said, it's stuff that we pretty much already knew, but it helps because it's Mark Gurman and he's chiming in. And Hang on. Oh, that's the thing. I gotta go save the kids.